Hello, and welcome Hi. to a Pixel Civ Let's Play. Um, Michael, this is your game. Why don't you introduce it? Um, Mitch, sure. you should introduce Michael first, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is this is Michael, and Please. this is <laughs> this is his game. <laughs> and the game is called Final Days. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it's an online multiplayer um, shooter um, in a post-apocalyptic setting. Kind of uh, got a bit of the old school arcade feel to it. Um, so, if you're if you're old enough to remember games like Smash TV and Gauntlet, um, even the original G Grand Theft Auto, um, it's got a bit of a style like that. Um, but it's got a bit of modern flair to it as well. Um, so, awesome. Yeah. Should jump in, shall we? Yep. Uh, two things are going to happen. First, that phone over there is going to ring. The Second, you're going to be wearing these cuffs. Okay. <laughs> nice. Just gonna keep on. Alright, let's do this. Who the hell are you? Jack Reacher, I need your help. Right. They're killing you ass soldiers. Like, I have played it, but it was on keys. Ah, okay. Um, so who's left and who's right? Okay. So I, I'm the right hand. Alright, I'm left. How's it going? Um, so you just gotta, just gotta hit your right trigger. So, uh, Alright. <clears throat> awesome. Zombies out of the way. Yep. So this is the compound level. This is uh, a new map. Nice. I need to just actually finish my test. Brand new exclusive. Yeah, that's right. This is an exclusive. Level. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. I think it's one of my favorite parts of this game. Um, I really tried to. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it to be um, able to be your thing. I don't want it to make it make you feel like you're going to Right. So that's your the flashlight goes. Uh, no trouble, mate. I'm gonna live. Ow! Oh. Uh, generally, it's based on the number of players and the difficulty level, pretty much. Sounds 
Just um, say how many people are in the beginning. Whether the zombies are fast, or just. I think the latest, the, the last time I had a look at this was a few years ago. We'd actually overlay the simulator on the map. Oh, yeah. And you could move it to see how a zombie happens, or like the pattern that would happen in your area. I thought was interesting, which was pretty interesting, but that was also top down. I guess the difference is how quickly would they be destroyed in your own house. Exactly, pretty much, yeah. So, like, I, I don't think it was as comprehensive as your own house, but definitely Google Maps work. Alright, All right, let's give that one more go. I wasn't really happy with how I did. Yeah, I kind of got killed a bit unfairly then. <laughs> Some zombies smashed up the barrel and. Oh, yeah. Oh,
gonna instantly like a snowman? Um, probably not. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's try a different map, so we'll give it, give it a different go. Yeah. Do some hacks. Two I am left. Now, I did play a lot with the, um, the controller to start with, and I switched to the keyboard and mouse. I definitely... Um, but I think you were telling me that you're, you're more of a controller player. It really depends. It's like I usually do spend like a lot of time um, switching between the two. Like some games that are, most people very frequently play with uh, keyboard and mouse, like Fallout. Uh, I played pretty much exclusively with controller on PC, um, which is you know I don't know. I played a lot of, of Xbox back in the day, so it just, just feels safe to me. Safe and warm. <laughs> um, but I mean, they've got pro controllers now and stuff that you can buy, which are They've got some customizable bits and pieces. And there are extra buttons on the bottom. Yeah. So did you think about using the um like the map as well? Um or do you think it would it not work if that was the map? I quite like that the um actually loading. Um because I think that really ratchets up the uh, intensity as you're trying to play. Yeah, that's actually a mechanic I had The main idea was to have a shovel because it's a bit too early sometimes. Yeah. Um 
actually one and have enough cost associated with yeah. it. And it, in some cases, it's like, 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 you get stuck in, in a corner on the wall. Yeah. Oh, and they can't do it enough. That's one of the things I think about. Slight stunner, slight stunner. Yeah. In Left 4 Dead, that's one of the things that I feel like Malie actually isn't that strong. Um, and it is kind of, sort of, there's not a huge advantage to using it. And it's usually only like your absolute boss. I'm just trying to do this because it's kind of cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Does the health ever respawn? Yeah. Um, like from enemies only? No, at the start of each wave. Um, okay. Um, yeah. What, um, at what point can they start breaking through the walls? Oh, well, pretty much. Straight away? As soon as you let them. If, if they spot you, you try them. Good team, hey. Yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah, the controls uh, definitely uh, I think, yeah, definitely over the group. Games Fest and Play Up as well, where you can actually get people who are playing the game in a variety of different ways. I actually got some great feedback from some controls that I was going to play up. Hopefully, some of the changes will be interesting to see how people who are maybe not. Down the bottom, I'm getting chased. Oh, this is it the last wave? Come on, no pressure. No pressure. You can't beat the game, who can? Oh. Oh, that was only way far. Do I get to respawn? Yeah, you do. 
final wave. Too many red marks on the map. No, 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 no. It's not over. It's over. <laughs> That's really good. Um, that is final day. Uh, this has been Pixel Sift Plays. My name's Gianni. That was Mitch before. Hey. Now you'll see Dr. Teddy and Michael. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you can listen to Michael's chat to us in episode 49 of Pixel Sift. Um, uh, Earth Games Festival. On Saturday, the first of. Before we go, I just have a question. Yes. Yep. Uh, this is from Dark Neo 77. Hey, Michael, just wondering if. The game is Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I have a solo and um, yeah. <laughs> It's good um, fun. If you, get a, it is if you get a chance to download it, Dark Neo, yeah. uh, give it a go. Um, the demo is available on my website. And it's coming out on early access on Monday at around 4 p.m. Perth time. Better yet, come play it on Saturday. Yes, at the Games Festival. Yes, James. Thank you very much, and we will see you guys on Saturday at Perth Games Festival. Cool. Catch you then. <laughs>